Gonna jump right into this one. It's gonna be Fringe. Who are you gonna jump on board with first? I'm starting with the Super Sob. Apathy. Let's see what he's able to do off the rip here. He decides he's gonna wanna push really into Bricks pretty much immediately. See if he's able to find anything. He's got a player at White Truck. Checks it with the Kuda. He's mantling, getting stuck. Uh, formal at no point did he want to check that, even though shots were coming from the side. But now he's in a pretty aggressive position. Going to drop. It's going to be Vicento, the only person alive. He's going to have to play some defense, and this is going to be a score. They should at least be able to get one point on the board. It's going to be Krem flying through. He's going to get up top. The question is, can they pick up one or two kills to allow him to at least get a point on the board? And that's going to be a dunk. Style points, rocking off the wall, able to put through a two-point play. Yeah, and you see, I believe it's three XR2s coming out from Optic Game here, going heavy on the ARs, trying to lock down that mid-map. Scum going to be your only SMG player. The spawns so far away for Elevate. They just keep dying, going towards that back alley. Oh, this is just a train right now. They've got back-to-back yeah. -back dunks through. You don't see this happen very frequently in Advanced War. Or, sorry, you saw it happen very frequently in Advanced War for not so much in Black Ops 3, we were able to rally through these dunks, but if they can force them to spawn alley, they can just dominate, they are. You saw Krim get one alley, another one spawns, able yeah, that's to fly a out kill. and I mean, He was 50 away from a lightning right there. No, that's I mean, certainly a big one, but look at look at this. I mean, Scup is still on their side. He's going to have two, I was going to say two easy ones, but the added armor is going to help just enough. Can they get the drone forward here, Matt? But it's just that threat of Scump being there that just stops Aqua in that mid street, and Krim trying to hunt through flashbang, his base. The flashback still coming in. Optic just reluctant to switch towards that attack mass, but nice knew there was one out. in the base. Two, three dead for Optic Gaming. Elevate's got to convert this Skump out of position. He's going to try and go bricks. This is an Get easy on that dunk. overextension. This is an easy dunk. No, and that's this perfect other sub man. Matt, they should be able to, they, I thought that's they have potential cool. to counter, but the player coming L is going to be set up pretty easily. That was Facento to come and get here mid-map. Not able to land really a single bullet until that that's final shot on Skump. Yeah, XR2 versus Kuda. You got to hit your shots with the XR2 at range. You're going to see Nagafin fall as well. They're playing a little defensively. They know the pressure is coming now. It's going to be in Skump's hand. They Th pick those up are one big kill. gunfights. They got here comes a those. melee. Yeah. Oh, he's going to try and slide by. He tried to. He tried he to use the camo, I believe. Yeah. Yep. Just not uh, going to work for Skump. Once they get them trapped back alley, this is where it starts to get dangerous for Elevate. They're able to win some gunfights, just not able to get into their base. You see the drone just thrown for yards, just trying to get it further away. That's really, they're not even throwing it towards a teammate. They're just trying to get it away from their base at this point. And you see Grip was out. It's still a customized XR2 for Formal. So you got to think, I mean, what does he have on this? He's got at least quick draw, going to have long barrel, stock, and then one other. Uh, I, high Caliber and Rapid Fire were both banned. Odd. Uh, see that? I'm trying to remember if Rapid Fire was. You see an HVK come out. Interesting selection. You had uh, three like different a hybrid salt. Oh, oh, what? God. Aqua, I was, I was actually speechless for a moment there. What was that shot? <laughs> With the HVK, <laughs> it's pretty much a hybrid. Oh. Uh, they're kind of a hybrid sub, yeah. AR. You can get Three different on ARs coming out from the side of uh, Elevate. I love you got, this. You had an ICR, you got a hat, HVK, and you got an XR2. And I'll tell you who's being punished right now. You know, we saw Facento drop almost 50 kills, I think, yeah, last he, night. He's switching guns. He right can't decide what he... Spawn, yeah. Well, when you saw those XR2 shots, I don't think he hit any of them. That was, what, five or six bursts against that Kuda where he just couldn't land one, not feeling comfortable with that gun. And it's really, it's the rate of fire, the difference between that and the M8 can really throw you off. If you're accustomed to using it, nice one-point toss there by Karma, doesn't get too greedy. But if you're accustomed to using the uh, the M8, it can be uh, throw you off a little bit, right? Switching to the XR2? Oh, absolutely. I mean, just even like something as small, minute, I don't know about you, but... I like the sound of guns when I shoot. Like, I almost don't even look for hit markers. I just like the sound I, of the I bullets connecting. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, like, sometimes with an XR2 or something, I almost feel like my bullets aren't connecting. Like, the noise is just so consistent that with the M8, it's like a distinct noise when you're connecting. And you see Nagafen in a perfect position to get a one-point throw. Going to go around the back, and it's going to oh, be picked up. by Karma. Big play right there out of Karma. We don't see that many interceptions in this game. Karma, one of the best at doing it, though. It's going to be able to pick up the drone. Not going to go into that small door. Going to no players playing of inside there. Yep, doesn't get it though. Scum's going to get cut down. You There's see those cross, cross lane passes. And that's the crap. Trying to get it across to a teammate. Look Krim. at that toss, dude. Sick play coming out. Throws it over. One point toss from Krim. That's the kind of stuff we're talking about. Elevate doing. And you yeah. see Optic Gaming coming up with a real dandy of a play there. Well, it's just like soccer, right? You want to just. Exactly. You know, you, you, suck, you suck a defense into one side of the field, and you hit a long cross like that. It can be so devastating to the actual defense. But now they're trying to get in. He tries to hit that overclock, tries to get the melee, and not able to do it. Who's the man at home to grab that? 
did they finally fire it through? It looks like they were able to get some points on the board. It's going to be 6-4 right now. Optic Gaming just under five seconds here, and uh, no last-ditch effort. Yeah, they're going to be able to come in. Elevate stays in this game That was here. a fun and frantic yeah, first that, half of football. Elevate stays Woo. in the game there in this first half. Vicento's going to need to pick it up. I mean, he doesn't play. He plays the same in the second half. I think this is one OG still holds on to, but... Good job by the elevate. Staying close there. Oh, and it's Elo. I, I was, for sometimes, sometimes I think when it shows customized, it's just the attachments that includes the scope as well. So that makes sense. Yeah, he has the Elo on it as well. Then long barrel, stock, and quick draw. So let's take a look. Is anyone really Aqua's running raps? Let's go back to that real quick. Aqua, man. Well, good luck, uh, bud. That's a bit ambitious. Right <laughs> uh, Anybody else? So we've got we did so sense. good on that first one. We're gonna use raps. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be Nogget first man in. They use the smokes to be able to clear the way and get hands on the drone. You see everybody rotating over. And this is one of those opportunities where you could maybe cross if he wasn't able to get through for one point. Nice oh. toss there. That's a long distance. Well, that's about as far as we've seen for tosses. <laughs> that is a very long toss. I didn't even know you could make that one. That's one that I haven't seen done too much. I've seen one on the opposite sides. Like if you're able to get it by 10 and throw it over, you can like wall run on their game for momentum. But... You see the kills coming in favor of Optic Gaming. Krim trying to put some shots down cross map. Aqua doing a nice shot, getting sneaky on the side of the map. Able to pick up Krim. He was in a good spot on top Granny, but Karma still in that top barn, causing some problems. Well, let's drop over to Karma because he's going to be the one in a position to make life a living hell here for the side of Elevate. He's got the L car. Did he see that player crossing by truck? I'm not sure if he actually got eyes on him. Nope, he hasn't seen him yet. He's worried about the spawn on track side. He's going to finally be able to get middle. His teammate's going to clean up a couple. That's going to be three down. They've got to get forward here. They're going to have them spawning out the top side. Is there a player that's just front grandma's on him? He tosses it to himself, trying to reset the arm. He's got the overclock. Why don't you hit the overclock here? At least guarantee a one-point toss. I think save it. Oh, no, there it goes. He's going to boost through. That's an easy dunk. Extends the lead out to three. Skump, though, by himself. He's got a tough job here. This is a time where you maybe want to hit camo. I was going to say, hit this. Make sure you control middle. Don't allow a counter cap. And just that little Even bit of a delay one there. Kill. That's huge. One kill is massive. Oh, allow to be now forward. we see Naga with the Annihilator. Picks up one cross map. Can he open up mid-map for the rest of his team? It's unfortunate. He probably used this thinking they had a three-man advantage in the mid-map. One skunk kills that one player. Ooh. It's cut down. A will pick up two. Not really going to open up anything for the team. And they need Pacenta, like he said, to get rolling. He's still really, really struggling. He's 6 and 17 right now. Can't get anything going. And shot just seems a little bit off, right? That just wasn't very accurate play from a guy that we saw crushing last night. The super sub, Apathy, able to pick up a couple here on defense or sorry, on offense, see if they can get forward. He's got the camo. You don't need to use it. Look at the overextension coming. They all spawn back alley. They're going to just overextend the camo, from though. map. And it was a complete waste, but he didn't realize they right. overextended. You, obviously, You're not sure. no, we can see the mini map. We know where the players are going. So They killed another three. They... This is going to be another dunk and a yep. lead. Oh, there's one player to deal with this. Just one. He's got to hit the heat wave potentially. Nope. nope. Just goes high, gets the dunk. Teammate cleans it up. The rally's on. Who's going to be mid-map, though, to potentially deal with it? It's Vicento. That's a big kill mid-map because this could potentially get a rally Doesn't going. But challenge they're up. They don't have the base control anymore. They've got to slow things down and just fight for mid-control. I like the decisions by Vicento. They're not the challenge, just trying to waste time for his teammates to get in a position. They can help him out. But... It's three dead, four elevate after the last one alive. Players pushing him like crazy in Z. You see Krim pulling out the site. He's going to drop with it. Huge kills right oh, there. Pacento. Pacento we told him the he had to step base. it up. He goes massive. He hits the heat wave as well. He's going to kill Formal. He just goes huge. That's a 3K defend coming in for Pacento, who has been struggling all game. And there's and the toss out. Under two to go. Elevate up one. Pacento went huge when he needed to, and did he not? Yeah, oh, it's also the reluctancy by Optic not to run tank mats. You see the flashbangs coming into play there as they try and move towards the base. Krim, last one alive for OG, trying to keep the hopes alive in the base. The drone's still down. I, I don't think they know he's there. Yeah, Skump coming around the well. back. Yeah, he's got Skump. This top. one might, well, they're going to go for two here. He had a free dunk. He just didn't go. And they're still going to get it through. I thought it may, bite, might bite them because he could have gone right away, I think. No, but he, he was it out. for Skump. He was going to have Skump lead the way all the Skump challenges. Now, this could be a potential counter cap, though. That was three down, Matt. And now they're going to start to push forward. Nogget is going to be the man to grab here, though. Going to get all the way on that overextension. He's going to be able to get one. You have Krim picking up one with the car. Huge defensive hold there nice for OG. Job, four down. Krim is going massive here in the last, you know, two minutes. Picks up that two-point play there. A bunch of kills in the elevate phase. Now on the defensive side, picks up another car. Krim starting to heat up. He cannot miss the right now. The got two as well. This is a dunk. 
this has got to be a dunk. They should be spawning out by 10. They are. You can see the spawn not going to be all three pop in 10. Nothing they can do about that. Now they're going to decide to overextend a brick. So this is their opportunity. Maybe get it and try to counter. You got to get out and grab, grab it and go. There's no one to deal with. You have no one in front of you. Don't, your teammates don't want to kill anybody. Just leave them all up. Leave the players for optic up that are in your base. There's the one point toss. They only need a dunk now. They've well, got to get back from, to mid -map. Nobody from OG went back to their base. They just all sat trying to spawn kill auto. Was Elevate going on the overextension? They need another oh, the the shot. Shooting from him. lasers cross map. Now you're going to see the attention be turned to back alley. Nagavin picking up the drone, passes it forward. Does Apathy have enough time to put one in? He's going to How's use his alive? atom. What's he doing? How's he, he alive? How long did he get really out? didn't have the jump to get through. Oh my god, three seconds left and they're going to reset. That was brutal to watch. My <laughs> god, not enough juice. Woo! <laughs> That was a good one. Oh my god, what happened? How was he alive? There were two players within five feet of him. There's just bullets. This is like the beaches of Normandy as Apathy's trying to come up. There's bullets flying from the front, from the back. It's like the Matrix Grenades lobby coming scene. In. Yeah. yeah, he's just like going like this, trying to dodge <laughs> as much as he can. And almost what gets in. What was that? Just not enough to score. Woo!